So I got this pizza dropped off for me through DoorDash, which is kind of like Uber Eats, because I'm lazy and I'm tired. So I just thought, whatever. Oh, and I signed up for this like free delivery thing for one month. And I actually have it on my phone where I need to, or I need them to alert me to, to cancel the subscription because I do not want to pay extra money. I do that with everything. I do that with Hulu. I do that with, I don't know, Apple Music. I will not pay you. Just let me use your program for a month and then we'll see from there. Hey, sometimes I actually stay on Spotify. That's the one thing that I really, really love um, that's worth spending the money on. But anyway, DoorDash, free delivery. I had to get the pizza press. So it's kind of like one of those uh, create your own pizza joints. There's a lot of them here in California. I'm sure they're popping up everywhere, but I've been seeing a lot of them lately. But I got a few different pizzas here. This is a uh, vegetarian pizza, so no meat on that. And then I have the pepperoni and sausage, my other favorite toppings for pizza, and my very, very favorite, pineapple and ham. Love pineapple and ham. Oh my gosh. So, with that said, I have all these freaking condiments, you know me. And I have some of these uh, hot chili peppers, Tabasco, Pizza Hut chili flakes, and cheese. That's why you steal these things. It's very important. Also, sriracha. You gotta have sriracha. Oh, guys. Oh, and last but not least, I have this ranch here, this huge ranch from Wingstop, because I had Wingstop not too long ago. Um, I love their ranch. I did not intend on getting this huge thing, but I thought, hey, you know what? It's kind of cheap. Might as well. And I've been using it for the last week. I hope it's okay. I hope it's not going to kill me. I'm so excited to eat. Let's do it. All right, let me prep up all my goodies. I always love eating pizza with these banana peppers. I mean, if you guys know Papa John's, they usually provide this. It's always nice to have a little bit of a spicy crunch. Yummy! Guys, I think I'm ready to go. I'm so excited. So which one should I do first? I did say this one was my favorite. Let's do that first. I'm gonna take this pizza. I love, I love how flat it is. Can we just talk about how flat this pizza is? I love it. I don't know why. You know, I love Pizza Hut and I love their crust, but my God, I love flat pizza. Mmm. Mmm. This ranch, this tub of ranch. Thank you, Wingstop. I love you. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was bomb. Pepperoni, olives, sausage, red onions. Mm-hmm.
I was hitting the spot. <laughs> LaCroix, one of my favorite flavors, tangerine. But orange is still my favorite. I love orange. These are for my vegetarian friends. The leaf is a basil leaf. Mmm. This one's very simple. Olive oil, cheese. It's very straightforward. It's still very flavorful. Mmm. So good. Mmm. This one's pretty damn good. I think I love this one the most. I'm surprised. You're probably gonna think I'm crazy for saying this, but I would honestly say pizza is one of my, I guess I would, okay, it's one of my least favorite food items, but I'm not saying that I hate pizza because I don't hate pizza. I actually really like pizza, but it's not something I seek out to eat a lot, really. I don't really think about pizza. But when it does come up, like today, oh my god, I, I go all out because I do crave it and I do want it. But it's definitely not my top choice. If you were to ask me, you know, if you were to take me out and I were to tell you where, you know, where I wanted to eat, pizza would not be on my mind. Um, why get pizza when fried chicken is down the street? I love fried chicken. I will always choose fried chicken. Mm. Hmm. So I guess it's bad to say that it's like my least favorite food but I still love it though it's just like you know it's at the bottom of the list I'm trying to think of it I'm trying to think of things that I don't like to eat because there are foods that I'm just like Ugh. I'm sure you're Curious to know what I don't enjoy eating or what I don't really like, you know? So good, so good, so happy. And to be honest with you, I don't 
really need to even use these. The reason why I use a lot of condiments sometimes, and it sounds really bad, is because the food that I'm getting just doesn't taste the way I want it to. And what happens is that I'm using all of these things to make it taste the way I want it to. But half of the time, you know, I do find items where I just think they taste wonderful, as is, and I don't think they really need much. I think ranch doesn't really overpower things. I think it complements salty foods like this, so. But I do think sriracha is an overpowering flavor. You quite literally only taste garlic. Um, so I'm trying not to use that. Maybe Tabasco, maybe. But I'm just telling you right now, Excuse me, this is fantastic. And I'm so happy. This one. Come on. Ooh. I'm dripping ranch. Mmm. 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 I can't get over that crust. I just love how chewy it is. It's kind of like flatbread, you know? And I love flatbread. Mm-mm-mm. Wingstop's ranch is no freaking joke. Mmm. So good. Um, Oh, okay. So, I was trying to think of um, my least favorite food. So there are a few, or at least I thought of a few food items that I do not really like. I don't really like cold cut sandwiches, like deli sandwiches, like the basic deli cut meats like turkey, ham, or whatever, with lettuce and tomatoes and mayo and mustard. It's so basic. I cannot stand that food. I just can't handle it. I think it's so gross. I don't know why anyone would buy, pay money for that. It's so bland. Mm. This is kind of random, but Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe 
what I've said is blasphemy. I don't know. You can kill me later. But let me finish this pizza first, please. <clears throat> I am going to put Tabasco on this one. <clears throat> Ooh, spicy. <clears throat> Chilies, and there's like this little fiery chili sauce that they drizzled all over this. Ooh. Mmm. And just to even push my boundaries with some of you guys, I honestly think that my favorite, least favorite type of food, and again, least favorite doesn't mean that I hate it. I just think that if I were to rank them all, it would be at the bottom, but I, I still I still enjoy eating you know their foods. But I would say Japanese food is probably pretty low. Um, I do love sushi, I do love all that stuff, but I think for me and my taste buds, when I eat food, I really want to eat, I guess, extreme kind of really intense spices and flavors, spiciness. I, I mean, really, the spiciest I think Japanese food goes is probably with the ramen, you know? Or at least what I can think of. And I love spicy, like I need spice in my food. So I think that's where I'm kind of like, I, I, I just, I guess I just don't prefer it, but I do like it. I do enjoy it. I just, now I'm going to get some, some hate. Look, I love all types of food, but I'm just telling you, you know, I'm definitely going to choose this over the other for sure. You know, like right now I'm totally obsessed with Pakistani food, Indian food, I love Persian food, I love the Middle East, everything food, like I just, I'm all about those, those meals right now. I'm obsessed, you know, and I've been getting more into Korean food, I still love Viet food, obviously, but it changes all the time. So ask me in 10 years, I might just go back and say, I can't believe I said that. Stupid, right? But tell me, what is your least favorite type of food, either food item or type of food in general. I'd love to know. Tell me. Maybe I won't be alone. I don't know. Mmm. Bomb. Every time I eat these pizzas, I go back to this one. I'm just like, oh, that tastes so good. Again, that goes back to kind of intense flavors like basil, you know, basil has a, is pungent in its own way, you know, it has a strong flavor and I, I totally love that.
Mm-hmm. It's so gross when you see all that oil. So, I'm serious, like so much shit has gone down for me in the last few months. Like my personal life, like it's just been, it was bad. It was really bad, especially just a few weeks ago, you know. It was rough. But I'm gonna tell you something. I do feel different from the last time I released a video, um, the Bonchan chicken. I do feel different um, emotionally. I feel better. I really do. Like, um, <clears throat> I feel mentally and emotionally stable. See, this is what's nice. Like, I, I feel like at this age, I just don't care. Like, I don't care if people think I'm crazy in a way or if, you know, if... I just don't care. I don't care to say, I don't, I just don't hesitate to say it, that I might be emo emotionally unstable at the moment. Like, I'm not afraid of that. And that is like, reflective of how I feel about what people think of me or what people feel about me. I don't know, like, I just honestly, I don't care what you think. Like, I don't, it doesn't hurt my feelings, like, at all, like, literally. That is, if it's anything bad, you know? Hmm, I just don't, I used to worry so much, you know? I'm like, who cares? Like, I don't care. I don't know how else to say it. I'm eating too fast, but that's because it's so damn good. Essentially, I'm, I'm, I think I'm happy today. I'm, I'm content today. I'm, I'm doing a video because I'm back to my old self. I think I might still be crazy. I don't know, but yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. I know that some people were still concerned or worried. I got wonderful messages from you guys, but just a reminder, I'm, I'm cool. I've gone through some crazy shit in the last few weeks, but I'm good now. And my birthday just passed. I mentioned that in my last video that, you know, I just celebrated my 31st on September 3rd. So happy birthday to all the Virgo babies, the September babies. Um, yay. But no, I feel good. I feel... Like I said in my last video, I think last year, I, I said in my video how, you know, turning 30, I, I felt sexy, like I feel good, like there's just no way to describe it, and I, and I still feel the same way, I still feel very sexy, it's a feeling, like, and it comes out, it just oozes out of me, because that's how I truly feel, like I, I, I like who I am, I like who I've become, you know, I can look in the mirror and go, like, you're cool, like, you're cool the way you are, with literally your flaws and all, I like you, I like you, you're fine. Trust me, and if, and if you, there are times where you hate your, yourself, you're, you're fine, you'll survive, you know? I'm able to, I guess, have that experience with myself. I think that's what's important about growing up, really. I have so much more to learn, but, man, I mean, I might be strange for saying this, but I really am excited to get older. I'm ex I can't wait to see what my 40s are like. I cannot wait. I want to see, you know, what I've learned. 
Um, I kind of want to, I guess, know about my life experiences, the knowledge that I'll acquire, you know, throughout the years. I'm just fucking bloody excited. I can't wait. Oh, I love, I love getting older. It's weird. I, I really do. I like it. I hope you do too. I hope you do too. It's not, it's not easy for everyone, so. I don't know. You know, I did say that that I feel the same way as I did last year when I turned 30, but there are differences, like maybe subtle differences, but there are differences. <clears throat> like recently I've noticed that. I've been really particular about who I'm spending my time with. And this is considering all my friends, my close friends, my good friends, my acquaintances, just basically my social circle. And I've, I've been able to step back and just kind of analyze everyone and kind of analyze the relationship that I have with each person. And I've noticed that I've almost accepted that I can live without a lot of them. I mean, they're great people. I'm not saying that they're bad people, but I think at a certain age, you start, you start kind of, it's called like, I think it's called something like social cleansing, right? I've talked to this about with this with a few good friends actually over this past weekend. Um, and we were just talking about this and how it seems to be a common thing the older we get. I guess what it is is that as adults, as young adults, we're so exhausted and we're so tired all the time. And I think that it's like we're, we're already exhausted. So when you're with someone who exhausts you, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, I'm already tired. Like, you're just making me more tired. Like, I feel like there are people that I know that are just making me even more tired. And I just sit back and go, I'm like, why, why am I hanging out with you? I mean, this is cool and all. It's not like we're fighting. It's not like we're having, I just I feel like you're sucking the energy out of me. Like, I'm not getting anything from you at all. And I've realized that with a lot of people. It sounds bad. It really does sound bad on paper, but if you really, really dig deep and if you really think about it, it's kind of true. I mean, I want you to step back and think, okay, like, let's look all my friends. Let, let's think about all of them. Like, do we really have a friendship or do we just call it that because we're just, I don't know, conditioned to, I don't know, behave a certain way around each other or to maintain this relationship, even though it doesn't have any substance. I don't know. But for me, I've been able to like step back and see everything and go, but wait a minute, like I've known you since high school, but why do I not want to, like, why do I not care to actually hang out with you? Like, I don't even care if you're doing fine. And that sounds so cold, but it's the reality. Um, and I feel like it's the same way for them too. They don't care, you know, how I'm doing. We're just meeting up because that's what's expected. So, sorry, that was a rant, but. Hmm.
essentially what I feel like I'm doing is I'm just cleaning up. It's kind of like cleaning up your friends list on Facebook. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't do that. I, I don't care. If you're still my friend on Facebook, social media, it's not a big deal. But I'm talking about in real life. There's just, sometimes I just don't really want, I just don't. There are, but there are people that I s so care about. Like, the connection is deep. I can't deny it. There's no, and it's mutual. Like, you, you know it. Like, you know it for sure. And in my mind, I'm telling myself, well, why don't you just call them an acquaintance? But even then, acquaintances seem to be a lot of work, too. Like, I... Listen, I don't have children. I don't have anything. I'm not that busy, but I do get tired mentally. Socializing is mentally draining. I don't know if anybody would agree with me, but socializing is so draining. And especially if you're in a relationship, too, and you got to go home, and you work, and you're just talking, talking talking all day and the last thing you want to do is just talk some more like it's just I'm just saying today it's very different for me like very different I think I'm pickier like I'm getting Have you ever thought about the people that you grew up with? You know, like in elementary school, intermediate school, high school, and you think about how they're still probably, you know, for some of you guys, still friends with them today. But you notice that your relationship is kind of drifting. Or, or maybe I'm wrong. Some of you guys have really strong relationships. But for me, what I've noticed is that a lot of those friendships are drifting. And a lot of times we blame it on, oh, they have kids, oh, they're married now, you know, oh, they have this full-time job, this career, like, I get it, but those are all just, I don't want to call them excuses, but they are kind of excuses, right? They're excuses to me in a way, like, if you really want to see someone, you'll make time. Don't, you know that, don't even act like that's not the truth, because it is, you'll make time, but... But yeah, I, I noticed that relationships are just drifting away. And I just feel like we became friends with these people through kind of, through convenience, right? We were conveniently in the same classroom. We were conveniently playing with the same group of friends. So that's how we... I don't know, started that relationship. You know, you're going to the same high school, you're seeing the same group of people. You're bound to make friends. But I just feel like that compared to today, I feel like as adults, we have more power to choose who we actually want to maintain relationships with. We maintain relationships in high school or elementary schools because those are the only people we know. We haven't started our jobs. We haven't met people from outside of the school, you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I I hope you understand what I'm saying. Maybe I'm just talking way too much. Um, I have so many thoughts. I, you know me, I'm like full of thoughts. But, but yeah, I think it's just through convenience. And, you know, the way I see it is like, well, you know, I'm your friend because we grew up together. But really, am I your friend? Like, are we really connected? Or did we just build a relationship based on convenience? And sometimes you find a, you know, what is that called? A diamond in the rough or something? Is that what, how you say it? Whatever. Um, sometimes you find that diamond or whatever. And you become friends forever. Like, it, the relationship is fantastic. But I've found that the relationships that I've created outside of school and outside of convenience, um, the ones that I've chosen myself, have become the best relationships. Like, meeting someone's friend's friend at a party or something. Like... We don't have to hang out, but we chose to hang out with each other. Now we've created this relationship, so. Oh my God, I'm talking way too much. So many thoughts in my head, you know? I needed to share all that. Oh 
Oh my gosh. How did I eat all that? I guess to sum it all up and to tell you the truth, like, like I said, I love growing up. I think at this age too, I'm not afraid. Like I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of, I'm not afraid to make decisions. I'm not afraid to be aggressive. I'm not afraid of what people think of me, even if I make decisions that they don't agree with. Like I just simply don't give a shit. I don't care, like I don't care. And I love it. And I love that feeling. And I'm, I think about it and it just makes me so happy. Like I'm about to tear up thinking about it because it's almost like a sense of freedom, like a personal freedom, right? I mean, I know I'm, if I'm wrong, I know I'm wrong, but, but the difference here is that I, if I truly believe in something, I will stand my ground. And I will not back down. And I don't think anyone can stop me, you know? And that, my friend, is the subtle difference. I'm a new woman. I'm a new woman. You can call me Tiana. I did pretty good here. I'm getting full. Thanks for listening to me. I've actually been wanting to talk to you about that for several weeks now. And I guess the reason why I like to share these things is because I guess it's not, I'm not saying you're gonna experience the same thing like for anyone who's younger than me, you're probably not gonna experience the same thing I am when you hit your 30s, but it might happen sometime in your life. It, there's no, you can't plan that shit out, but I'm just telling you now that growing in general is a beautiful thing. Growing old is not, it's not disgusting. It's not, don't be afraid to say your age. Like don't. Girls, I know girls hate it when they have to say their age, but why? Why do you have to worry? Who cares? Wisdom is so sexy and experience is so sexy. And I want to remind you that. Um, listen, I love you. I'm spending time with you. So don't think that I don't care about you. But so I'm going to close up that diary entry. Crazy diary entry. But I'm glad I could talk to you guys about that. It feels good to let it all go. To let it all out. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed the pizza mukbang. It's not gonna happen anytime soon again in a while. Oh gosh. Have I ever burped before on film? I think I have. Anyway, I have actually more news to share with you, but I'll, I'll share with you in the next video. I've done enough talking today. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. You're my acquaintance. Just kidding. <laughs>